Welcome to uh, Zone Tool Tutorial Series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, set up thresholds and rules in order for us to automate your current campaigns and set up. Uh, this is done through the uh, turquoise icon, the clocks or gears under each. If you are at the campaigns level, this, you will see this icon under the campaign name. If you are at the ad group level, you will see this icon under the ad group names. And if you are at the keywords level, you will see this um, icon under the keyword name. Right now, let's work because our system works from top to bottom. So, like I introduced before, we work from the top from campaign all the way down to the bottom of custom short terms. The rule needs to be set at first time at the campaign level, and then you can refine and customize below. For now, let's just set up the rule. Uh, in order to set up the rule, you need to click on the icon. You will be presented with this screen. This screen will ask you six thresholds, which I'm going to explain you now. The first threshold is a max keyword spend. So here we want to know how much money you're willing to spend on a keyword before pausing it if there are no sales. Now, why we ask this? Because in my business, if I'm selling a product that costs $20 and it costs me $21 to get a click, and oh, sorry, not a click, to get a sale, this doesn't make sense. I'm losing at least $1 every sale, not to mention whatever I have to pay to Amazon for 50% and FBI fees. So what you need to decide is, all right, how much are you willing to lose on a keyword or how much are you willing to pay on a keyword before pausing it if there are no sales? As a rule of thumb, again, in my business, if I want to be aggressive, I'm launching a product and I'm selling a product that costs $20, I will put $20. If on the other way, this is a maintenance campaign with a, a product that is already ranked with a lot of reviews, which I don't need to be too aggressive on, I will figure out how much is my dollar profit on the product and put that. So assuming that the profit on this product that I'm selling for $20 is $10, I might want to just put 10 over here. So depending on the life stage of the product, the strategy you go for, and if you're aggressive or conservative, you can go as high as putting the sales price of your product or as low as putting simply the dollar profit after expensive expenses of your product. All right, so let's go for the aggressive strategy. So I'm selling something because $20, I'm going to put 20 over here. This box, what we need here is we need to know which is the maximum ACOS that you want to allow for a keyword. Now, as a rule of thumb, again, um, if you want to be aggressive, you put there your profit margin. Okay, if you want to rank fast and have visibility and get traffic, and get get volume, get velocity, at break even at least, you want to put very profit margin. If on the other way you want to be a little more conservative and let's say you want to make 10% profit for each click, for each sale that happens on PPC, what you would do, you have to figure out your profit margin and take away whatever it wants to go in your pocket. So as an example, if my profit margin is 35% and I want to be aggressive, I will put 35% there. If my profit margin is 35% and I want to and I want to keep profit 10% profit, then I will put I will simply put 25% over there. Okay? So in this case, again I want to be aggressive, my profit margin is 35%, so I'm gonna put 35%. And you just put the number 35. Then Bid increment. So bid increment, this is a deep concept. Um, this applies to what we do after we reach uh, X amount of clicks, which you will set down here. We look at your average cost per click and we update your bid based on the average cost per click plus a fixed amount that you decide here. By default, that's 0 0.11. In my business, I use 0 0.41. The reason behind this request is that if you're bidding two dollars, so you're bidding two dollars, and the average cost per click is one dollar, 
if we go down and we set your new bid to one dollar the resulting new average will be always below one dollar will be probably 0 0.7 most likely and now if we keep simply updating your bid based on your average so the new bid will be uh, 0 0.7 the next average is going to be always below 0 0.7, most probably 0 0.5, around that. And if we keep doing this, we're going to drive your bid to 0, which we don't want to because you will lose visibility, you will lose sales, and you will lose traction on your product. So what we need to know is how much more than the average you want to add on your bid in order to maintain your average. So if you think that $1 will be a good well, it is a good bid for this keyword and it's performing the way you want, it's reaching the ACOS level you want. In order to maintain that average cost per click, you will not need to bid $2, but most likely you will simply have to bid 1.40 or 1.50. Or in my case, my guess, because it is a guesstimate, I'm guessing, and I know my business, I know my data, as a general rule, when I add 41 cents, on top of my average bid, this allows me to keep my average bid and don't lose against the competition. Okay, so this is how um, the bid adjustment uh, function and the logic behind it, and now you should use it and figure it out based on the data that you see in your account. The next one we need to know is the minimum bid. So, aside from any rule and automation our system has, this is the minimum bid that will never bid below within the campaign you're setting now. As a default, we have 0 0.2. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you also on this one a little bit of um, an explanation. So, let's say, for example, let's take the same example. Uh, no, let's take a different example. Let's say um, the average bid you're receiving at 0 0.10 cent. Okay, and let's say for absurd that you're not, so for example, that your bid adjustment, adjustment is also, let's put it here, is also, okay, it's the 0 0.10, all right, 10 cents. Right now, what we will do, we will look at the average bid over 10 clicks and we will add on top your selected bid adjustment which is 10 and we will adjust your bid to 0 0.20 cents. Now this is very good, this is what you ask us to do and we will do it. In my business I always want to be the highest bidder so a keyword but at the moment it's very very cheap but it's averaging just 10 cents right now might not be cheaper a week from now and it might be getting discovered by another competitor which will want to win that keyword simply because it's very cheap right now and the competitor might be very happy to bid very very high so in the case that a competitor comes in and set a default bid of 0 0.50 on that keyword I will lose I will lose my positioning, I will lose traction on the keyword and I will lose stage generated from the keyword and overall I will lose velocity which is not good in overall Amazon organic ranking so in my business my the minimum bid that I never want to go below, regardless of what my average might be, in my business is $1. Okay, so my, my minimum bid in my business is always $1. As default, as I mentioned, is 0 0.2. Now, depending on your niche, depending on your account history, the data that you see in your account, how much is generally, generally your average bid, you might have different numbers. Okay, but for me it's one dollar. So I'm gonna keep in this case I'm gonna keep one dollar. Okay, so one dollar means that regardless what your average bid and regardless what your bid increment is, we will never set a bid below one dollar for this campaign. Okay, now moving next, next threshold we ask you uh, to give us is the minimum action clicks. So the minimum action clicks is the by default is 10, this is the minimum amount of clicks that you 
ask our system to wait before we take any actions. All right. With the settings that you see right now on this screen, we will wait 10 clicks before adjusting your bid. Okay. We will wait 10 clicks before posing a keyword if there are no sales. We will wait 10 clicks before going and look at the ACOS data of the keyword and posing it if there are no sales. Okay. And regarding the maximum spend, either whichever comes first, it's either you spend 20 bucks or you get 10 clicks, whichever comes first, we're going to use it as a signal for posing. Okay. So I hope this is clear. Ah, and another little reflection on this. So the minimum action click, what we will do, uh, what you generally do are conservative. I mean, the, the default is 10. If you want to be more aggressive, if you want to gain more data before starting the automation, you will put 20, 30, 40, 100. So we will wait 100 clicks before the automation to start, which is too, too aggressive. I would advise, personally, I would advise never to go above 20 because it, it could get out of control very quickly if we wait if we wait that long to take an action. 10 is a good number. If you want to be extremely conservative, you can put 5. Uh, less than 5 also I wouldn't go because really, I mean, 5 clicks is just, just enough data for our uh, automation to, to start working. And it's, it might be not really reliable. Um, this is for USA. If you are in Europe, in Europe there is less volume. Uh, keywords in general get less clicks, so in Europe you might want to use five as your default, simply because there is less volume, especially Spain, Italy, and France. Uh, overall, just keep the ten. And the last one is the minimum conversion rate. Uh, when does this apply? So this is a tricky one. So what we do, we look at what Maxima Ecosy gave us and we check simply the highest percentile. So in this example, we'll probably look simply at the, uh, the range of keyword that have an ACOS between 32 to 35 percent, more or less. Um, we take also other facts in consideration, but this is just to make it very simple to explain for this video. So if a keyword is around 22 and 32 to 35 percent, what we will do, and the default will stand, we will look at those keywords and we will also see what the conversion rate is doing. So if the keyword is already between 32 and 35 percent, and as a conversion rate before uh, below 10, we will pause it. What's the reason behind this? So assuming that we are running a strategy which we introduced at the beginning of this video, which is I want to go for visibility, I want to go for volume, I don't look after profit. Any keyword that is and given that this is my profit margin, any keyword that is nearing this ACOS is not bringing my business any money. I'm making zero money. I'm making, if a 32% ACOS, I make very, very, very few cents. 35% uh, ACOS is break even, so I'm making zero money out of it. So if that keyword is already cost me that much that I'm not making any money, plus I'm not even converting well for it, why am I keeping the keyword? So in order to automate this in my business, I set a minimum conversion rate of 10%. So if the keywords are not bringing money in, I'm, I want at least to make sure that they are converting. So they don't affect the overall conversion rate of my listing. And they bring something positive rather than just sucking money and, and hurting my conversion. Um, a different way of saying it, if you are more conservative, if you're running a maintenance campaign, or you want, you're running a campaign in which you want to make profit out of it, and you were to set the ACOS at 25% in order to save a 10% profit for you, the conversion rate, I would put zero. I, I wouldn't apply this one, simply because even though keywords might reach the 22, 23, 24, 25% ACOS, the way you set up your threshold, you're still making 10% profit out of that. So, the conversion rate of those keywords wouldn't really matter because they are bringing in money. They're bringing you 10% profit every time. So if you are running traffic visibility strategy and you run an ACOS at break-even, 
I would advise you to use the conversion rate. I use 10, you can use a little more conservative, will be five, a little more aggressive will be 15. But if you're running a campaign and you're setting your strategy in threshold in order to make you profit, I would set this to zero. Okay, but let's say we are uh, 35 and let's put whatever is default that is 10. And I pretty much finished explaining um, how to set up rules uh, for your current campaigns. I'm going to just save the rules. I'm going to hit save. And what happens is that you will see that there are data applied here. So the maximum uh, spend and echoes are applied. And uh, for this video, uh, that's it for now. In my next video, I'm going to explain you how to set up custom rules, a custom threshold within this campaign at the keyword or campaign level. Thank you very much for watching.